Palantir joins the illustrious group of the S&P 500 today. This is huge news. But before we get into it, smash that like button, subscribe if you've been with us a while and haven't done so yet. Check out the Trade Cave store, link in the description as well as the channel bio. Look at all this great stuff we've got over at the Trade Cave store, a couple of shirts, a sticker. Uh, go and check that out today. But the news is Palantir, also Dell, to join the S&P 500. Both of them saw big jumps in this. Let's take a look at Palantir though. Palantir went up 7% immediately upon this news. 7.58%. It went up another a little bit afterwards, 0.15%, giving us a total of a little over 7.7%, um, almost 8% jump off of this news. We went straight into the highs over here, straight into these highs over here from the highest highs we've seen for the year. We shot basically right into it, which completely, completely destroyed this uh, downward trend we've been in here since uh, since August 22nd. So we've been in a bit of a downtrend there. Uh, not a, not a big one, but you know it's been it's been happening for a little while. There we've been there it is. There's the channel, and we broke out of that solidly. Went right into the highs there, right into resistance. Is it going to hold on Monday? Are we going to see it do like perhaps a retest of the bottom of that range down around 3191? Is it going to come back into the 20s? I don't know if it's going to come back into the 20s anytime soon. Uh, and and because of this addition means that there's a constant bid for Palantir now. And that is actually, I mean, it's a good thing for Palantir. Not so good if you wanted to collect more shares. I was expecting this to happen. I was expecting it to happen a little sooner. And then when it didn't, I was expecting maybe it would happen a little bit later. But something changed. There's a reason why they're doing this now uh, versus before. Now, we've they've been meeting, they've met the criteria since, let's see here. They've met the criteria since not last earnings. Was it last earnings? What day was this? Uh, now, yeah, since the earnings before, like, so they, they've met the criteria since like May, right? They met the criteria in May. Uh, and since then, the, the S&P has been kind of sitting on their hands, waiting and waiting and waiting. And what they were waiting for has just happened recently. Uh, Palantir has been getting traction with its commercial customers. They've been increasing the onboarding of their commercial customers at a large clip with, and they've been charging them uh, with a pretty significant um, margin so so that's pretty pretty great for palantir and uh, s&p uh, liked that quite a lot and i think that uh, that is why we are seeing the addition now versus before they were still wondering when even though they they qualified for over a quarter they were still wondering is palantir going to be able to pull off the commercial sales and get those commercial clients in through the door at a at a you know consistent rate and they've been showing that they've been getting them at a pretty significant rate actually so i think that's why palantir is added now and that is why i own palantir and i will continue to dca into palantir and i'm running two wheels on palantir right now hopefully soon i'll be able to make that a third so palantir is a decent i'd say it's like 15 percent of my portfolio I do like Palantir quite a lot, and that's why I bring it up here on the, the channel here every once in a while. Now, let's take a look at the EMAs and Bollingers here. So, the top Bollinger, yeah, uh, even where it is right now, because uh, you can't see it right now because I've got it on the daily chart, but, and that happened in after hours, even where we are right now, which is about 32.62, there's room to the upside up to 33.68 before we start chewing into the Bollinger Band. On the downside, we've, I mean, on the downside, we've got the 50 uh, day moving average to catch us down at 28.68 if we were to come down at all. We are, we did operate, we did get a cross down here on Palantir a little bit, um, just a few days ago, but, uh, obviously that's going to be negated here, like immediately, uh, Palantir has been just super, super duper surprising when everything else is falling and, 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 you know, it seemed like the market was falling apart, like on this day here on August 5th, it actually ended the day negative 2% where so many others ended, you know, double digits in the negative, And then we went on an absolute tear from that, from those August 5th lows. I mean, it, I think it was better than Nvidia. Because Nvidia got what a thirty percent run, whereas this one got a fifty-six percent run from the lows in August fifth. So Palantir has been an absolute beast uh, of a stock lately, and I've just been very happy to be holding on to it right now. Um, let's take a look here at not that, haha. -ha. There we go. Yeah, so we are up in the top bands here of the Fib Bollingers, though. So we are up acting, you know, acting in that upper echelon of those things there um we were we did get a signal below and then immediately oh what a fake out i hope anyone that had puts got absolutely absolutely wrecked and it would have totally made sense 
because we had been working on this down leg right here, right? We had been working on this down leg right here. And we did get a confirmation with these three candles here, three days without even trying to come back to the mid ATR band. That was kind of confirmation like that, that that would be a bear flag. And I bet you if they weren't added to the S&P 500 this afternoon, not this afternoon, but um, on Friday afternoon, that that they would have come down into support around like $28, $27. Uh, and, and this just completely frustrated that. I don't know if it's going to go back below 30 anytime soon. We'll see. We'll see. But there's a constant, going to be a constant bid. People, you know, fumbling over themselves to get a, a piece of Palantir now that it is in the S&P 500. And that is official. This is one of my favorites to run a wheel on, by the way, because it is affordable. You only need, you know, you know $3,000 max right now to run a... Oh, well, $3,200 max right now to run a wheel on Palantir if you wanted to. So it is small account friendly. It does provide decently sized premiums and it does have the volatility to actually allow you to, you know, trade it uh, kind of like you would options that you bought in terms of buying it, getting profitable and selling it again. So Palantir, I really like Palantir for that. And we'll talk more about it here. I think uh, I'll talk about it a lot more when I finally get around and have the time to do the videos that I've been asked to do about, uh, you know, teaching how to do trade some options, which I'd love to do. And I'd love to get into and talk to all of you about. Uh, it's just, it takes time and, and uh, I, I want to arrange it well uh, and not just throw it together. So that's why that's taking some time. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to find the, the extra time to do those kinds of things and really dig into something and, and like make it in a, in a way where I'm like, okay, this is how you do this. Like trying to teach it versus just like talking about it. It's, it's hard. It's a lot harder <laughs> than just talking about knowledge off the top of my head versus like trying to explain it all. Uh, and, and hopefully you get little tidbits here in there in all, you know, every video. Um, but to, to be like, all right, I'm teaching you how to do this and exactly my thought process. And, and that, that takes a little more planning than what I usually do. Uh, so anyways, with that said, please like, comment, subscribe, check out the Trade Cave store, link in the description as well as the channel bio. Look at Palantir options. They're, they're, they're pretty useful. Uh, remember, none of this is financial advice or suggestion to buy, sell, or hold any asset whatsoever. Simply, uh, for informational and entertainment purposes here at the Trade Cave and have a profitable day.